And on this episode of Hack Reacts, oh, we're just putting the mud on the back of a pizza tile. All right, that looks like a decent tool that you can make. What is this? You glued things to a screw head and then you put it in the wall and then... Uh, I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. Hey, dial maker. Yep, that's pretty cool. I've done that. It works. Be careful. Don't hit your tool. Burning into foam so you have access to the screw. All right. That's actually not a bad hack. Keeps good straight line, I guess. Hmm. Could be worse. Don't do that. That's, there's no way that's going to be actually accurate. Ugh. You just make your own angle iron for that? Okay. I guess that works. That wasn't bad either. Okay, I'm fairly impressed. Okay, that could work in certain situations. Oh, tiny, tiny, haha, <laughs> you made a tiny screwdriver. Why are you screwing through a wing nut now? What's going on with the bike chain? You just made a super adjustable wrench, but... Strength on that one? I'm not sure. But I guess if it works. We made a sharp tip on some threaded stock. I've seen this before. You're going to cut through drywall with it. I... Uh, like, it looks like it works, but I still, I just don't like it. Someone explain how that worked to me. Then we pull straight out. Obviously, it comes straight out. Okay. Put it on. Oh! That's a hack! That's a hack, because those holes suck. Usually, I go from the top and drop it down with a weight on it. But if you pull it up, I, sure, if you have to go up, go ahead. A tape. It's okay. I feel like measuring would just be so much faster than doing that. But it works, I guess. What is this little thingy? What's the... I've never seen one of those, but now I kind of want one. Hmm. And another dust catcher for a drill.